Okay, so uh, now we're going to get started with uh, using LaTeX. And the first thing we should be able to do is figure out how to take uh, what we're going to put inside uh, this box and turn it into a PDF. So once you install LaTeX, you're going to open up what's called the compiler. Okay, if you have the Mac version, it's a text shop. But there are also many different versions that you can uh, install separately that give you a little more feature. Uh, the one I'm using is basically the simplest. So uh, anything I do here, you can do in the others, but not the other way around. So, okay, minor details, but uh, let's get started by first uh, clicking on template. So I'm going to choose LaTeX template. And pretty much what you're going to see is uh, a lot of strange looking uh, symbols and commands and right now all you need to know is that this is where the document goes between begin document and end document so if you want to write something you're going to put it between uh, begin document and end document okay and then before begin document and end document you have what's called the preamble so these are a lot of packages and the class for the document, um, but for right now, uh, it's not important. If you are missing a package, when we, tr when we do more advanced things in the later videos, if you're missing a package, uh, the program will tell you, okay, we can't do this because you're missing the package. So for, for right now, we, 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 we just, we're just concerned with what's happening between begin document and end document. And once we put some text there, we can make the document. Okay, so by, by typesetting, it's going to ask us to save the document. Okay, so. And I'm going to choose to save it to the desktop so that we can. Okay. Uh, we can see how it actually saves. So once I compile, I press Control T. Uh, so the, it's Command T for Mac or Control T for Windows and what you're going to get is the document okay so here you have the title of the document this is the only thing uh, that you know the only part that goes outside the document is see you see here this is where you put the name of the article the author's name and then you put this command here and that's going to put so for example the title our first document the author me Okay, and once I compile, here we go. First document, Thomas J. Rivera, and whatever I've written in here. Okay, now, so now that we've compiled this, we can see I saved it to my desktop. What we get are uh, five uh, files. Okay, the two that we that we care about, the only two that we care about for the most part are the PDF and the tech file. So the tech file, if I open it, it's going to be this thing what we use to, to, to create the PDF and the PDF is going to look like this okay so uh, essentially this is a, a preview of what you're going to see in the PDF my backgrounds gray because uh, it's easier on my eyes that way uh, but uh, for most of you when you open this up you should have a white background okay so when we have these uh, all these documents one thing to keep in mind is that if we move the tech file and then okay so this is our tech file and then we compile again so I hit control T again what's gonna happen is we're gonna have our tech file and it's gonna have created uh, four new of the uh, of these extra files okay so it's always good to, to start off well stay organized and create a tech folder and save everything in that folder you'll see I have my tech folder here and uh, you can see you know, for example here are all my okay here are all my my documents okay um, and so lastly what uh, the last piece of this puzzle so here you have the tech file here you have the preview of the PDF and here you have the console and what the console does is it tells you if you're making a mistake so for example uh, as we're going to see shortly uh, the dollar sign or the bracket you know curly bracket uh, these are specific commands and if they're not used properly the document won't be created it won't create a new PDF so if I try to compile this what's going to happen is nothing came up you, you know I could I can change this text here 
just write it a few more times. And when I compile, nothing comes up. Okay, so the, also the PDF doesn't change. Normally what's going to happen is the PDF in this folder will always change uh, with, with the, the tech document after you compile. That also saves it. So you don't, always, you don't have to save. But uh, what, what, what the console does is it tells you, okay, you messed something up. Okay, you use some symbol that you weren't supposed to use. They give you little hints. They tell you what line it occurs around. So this is line 20 here. Okay, but uh, it, may, it may take a little more time before you start to understand this, but you should go back and say, okay, maybe I used a symbol that I'm not allowed to use. If I get rid of the mistake, uh, here's what I get. Again, I go back to my PDF here, and the PDF changes automatically. Okay?